You know, everybody has this notion of cowboys when they watch them in the movies uh, and different, different uh, eras of cowboys. But what it means to be a real cowboy is to be a hardworking man or a woman. Uh, you wear your cowboy hat with pride, you wear your boots, and they all serve a purpose. Uh, we get up with the sun up, we go to sleep when the sun goes down, and the whole day we work hard and we love our horses and we love our family. And uh, it's something called Western values uh, that we live by on a daily basis. And that's what makes a real cowboy. Hi, boy. Magana Machola Nityanandan. Namut Okumala Mawadane, Thai Nitigiam. When I was young, uh, I can go back as when I was four or five years old. My father was a huge fan of the Western movies and Western music. So as a kid, I, we used to watch uh, uh, Western movies with John Wayne, Clint Eastwood. And, and I grew up with that. Just the, And the cowboy movies were etched into my brain. And we used to ride uh, horses when we were little in Colombo uh, and Candy and New Aurelia. And then when we got the opportunity to go to the United States, it was a dream come true, because there was horses everywhere. And there was cowboys and cowgirls everywhere. So I was a kid in a candy shop. I've been riding horses, I would say, for about 45 years. But as a professional cowboy and a trainer, a little over 30 years. And uh, I've been pretty much trained in every aspect of training horses, every discipline, from English to Western. Uh, and now currently, I am uh, more into Hollywood Wranglers, meaning we provide horses to the film industry. What I feel about it has been an incredible journey. You have to understand, uh, in a big place like America, uh, when, when we first arrived in America, nobody really knew where Sri Lanka was. We have to always attach it to India, like it's right below India. And we were always associated as such. So it took a long time to explain what we were and then to, and to have the concept and the notion of a Sri Lankan cowboy was kind of unheard of at the time. I didn't think anything of it because of my simple passion for horses. But as, as I elevated in the industry, people started noticing, saying, hey, you know what, maybe Sri Lanka has some good cowboys and cowgirls over there. And uh, that's why I'm also here, to find those cowboys and cowgirls. I have a movie experience. I have a lot of people who 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 have a Experience like that, come wow, kill a hit or come movie stars in no, Nalu, Nilio in no, it is a political leg, a glang game, a make a sunk under from another, make autographic under from another, a get. Now, a beasio, Honda action kerwa, a glang hariba, asa, a beker, carapu deva lorda, every no passata, my glam, a patangati, may industry, a bit of the car. My name is Noah Fernando, and this is Valentina. I am half Dutch, half Sri Lankan, and I grew up in the Netherlands. I come from a town where we all rode horses and the guys were on motorcycles and bikes. And I moved to Sri Lanka 15 years ago, and I basically gave up on my dream of horse riding because I thought it was simply not available in Sri Lanka. Until I met Ineke, the, the owner of a Salon Riding Club, and she introduced horse riding in Sri Lanka to me and we became very good friends. I am uh, trained in English riding and that's how I basically became president of, uh, of the club. So I came to Sri Lanka 25 years ago. This was a dream of mine, to have my own horse riding school. Um, we moved from Piliandala to Port City about a year ago. 
and we were given the opportunity to take up as a temporary activity here. Um, the design is very much English style, like a Sussex barn. We have st lovely stables here, horses here. It's a riding school. It's a place where people come to experience horses and learn to ride. Building this during the Arab, during the really difficult time, when a lot of my friends were leaving the country and telling me I was completely crazy to be building at that time. And I believed in the project, I believe in Sri Lanka, so I was just determined. So that was an interesting time. Um, we had no fuel, prices were going through the roof and it was very challenging, but it was also inspiring. Um, and the people around me were fantastic. So that was, that was tough. I think the wonderful thing about horses is it connects people. And it connects people from very different walks of life. So for example, Ty coming here, and, and we've been talking to each other for a few years. Horses connect across different cultures and different age groups and different ethnicities. And I've met some amazing people while I've been here. So rodeo is an extreme sport uh, and it has everything to do with horses and livestock. And horses, uh, there's all speed events. Uh, everything that you do on a ranch on a daily basis, they've taken it to the next level to make it a competition. So in the ranch, you'll have to go catch a cow that ran away. So cowboys have to run behind with their horse and rope them with a lasso and catch them. So they took that and made that into a, a, a very fast event. So that's, you ride wild horses, wild bulls, uh, you name it, <laughs> everything on horseback, we do it. And I love everything, uh, every sport on horseback. So I took the rodeo like fish to water. So I wanted to compete in everything it had. And that's how I got started in rodeos. Lots of broken bones. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, you know what, it's, it was, it, it's been very rewarding. Uh, but I, I rode it only for 10 years because it is, it's a very, very difficult sport and it really takes its toll on your body, uh, and wear and tear. So I'm a little bit too old right now to go compete in professional rodeos, but I did when I was younger. Rodeos, multiple events. I events. Then how did uh, commercialize business like that? You think endorsement scene or salary holder had under pull on a multi multi billion dollar industry like America. Hemming sare you can think spread when Germany will letter, Australia will letter. You think hunger opportunity scene or one a connector every level cowboy or cowgirl will will a rodeo sort of compete karanda. In any given uh, average rodeo, there's about 15 events and you can specialize in one or two. And some cowboys who are really good, they specialize like in four. Uh, you know, racing is, is fun, it's nice, but it's a singular sport. It's just a horse running, versus rodeos as multiple, multiple different events, and literally anybody can partake in it. To race, you have to be a jockey, and you have to be about 60 kilos, and as you can see, we're we're not 60 kilos, so we can't compete in racing. So horses are associated with, the kind of one of the economic, I would say, indicators. When you have people riding horses in a horse culture, it's something that's aspirational. Um, it brings in a lot of, uh, yeah, foreign currency, obviously through tourism. Um, but I also think it's uh, more than that. It really helps in people's own mental health. So helping people, we've been through a tough time here. I don't need to tell you. And I think a lot, there's a lot of help, hopelessness maybe. Some people have got a little loss along the way. Being around horses is very inspirational. And I think there's a lot that a place like this can offer obviously tourism but also in terms of re-energizing and rebuilding people in this country to get back out there.
especially about being a Sri Lankan cowboy. Uh, Western cowboys are very friendly. They're not, they don't have any animosity. They will always treat everybody with hospitality. I think that is the biggest thing. Uh, the rest of the world will have their own problems and their own uh, dysfunctions. But cowboys will always stay the same. So they've always treated me with respect and they have gone out of their way to help me to develop myself to be a cowboy. I wanted to come back to Sri Lanka uh, because I brought my son with me and I wanted him to see where his father came from. And he, my son, is a second generation Sri Lankan cowboy. Uh, so that he can be the second Sri Lankan cowboy, per se. My full name is Karnan Cholan Nithyanandan, but I go by Casey Nitty for short. This is my first time to Sri Lanka, and I have to say I really love it here. It's a beautiful country, and I, I feel like the people are beautiful as well. Really nice people. Uh, I've been riding since I was three years old, 14 years of experience, um, not the best, but uh, the time goes a long way. I feel like the new generation getting in touch with horses will be eye-opening to a lot of things, uh, mostly finding your inner self, bringing it out, like a whole new person coming out of like your body, just, I, I feel like it's a spiritual movement or a spiritual motion. Um, that's pretty much it. I feel like it'll make you a better human being. So what is very important for us here at Port City Stables is that it's it, we're welcoming everyone. It's not for for any segment of, of society. We want to, to make everyone feel welcome. Everyone can walk in. Everyone can engage with a horse the way uh, the way they like. So whether it's riding, whether it's petting, whether they want to come and have a chat with us or just want to have a look around. What we basically are trying to do is break the barrier from you know the publics and uh, public and the horses. We want to bring that together. But what I wanted to bring back is bring some of that Western knowledge I've learned about horses. And in my specific field, try to develop Sri Lanka into a Western horse culture or bring a little, little bit of that here. I think it can have great benefits to the you know, young future cowboys and cowgirls and the, those who aspire to it. That's why I'm here. Cowboys, how much is it? Eglon Kiwana Monari Karnanang, Eglon Hematisimika Karnan. Egri Kiani, I give you my word. Cowboys, word they could do not. Banquet is all the demo again. Guaranteed. Kavadakwa, Navatandepa. Owner there, Karanda Pulona Karanda. Excuses, Hadandepa. Hard work, Tinanang, hard work, Karanda. Kavadakwa, Navatandepa. It means don't quit. Always follow your heart.